lot of talk this past week about gymnastics, specifically Simone Biles in gymnastics. Now, if you're not familiar, Simone is the GOAT. She is the greatest of all time. She currently is doing things that no other gymnast can do. Every time that she's on the floor, it's exciting and exhilarating. Well, she made it to the Olympics, which was no surprise. And when she got there, she did a vault. And in the vault, I don't know the official name, but she was supposed to do two and a half crazy hard spinny things. She did one and a half. And whenever she landed, you could see in her face that something was off. And then we found out that she was going to be sitting out of the rest of the Olympics. Nobody really understood why. They thought maybe she hurt herself. There was concern and curiosity. There wasn't any anger. Then we found out that she was sitting out due to mental concerns, that her head just wasn't in the game. And it went from curiosity and concern to half of the population was, go Simone, this is what you need to do. And the other half was pissed. And I'm not talking slightly pissed, I'm talking pissed. And all of a sudden, we had people who knew absolutely nothing about gymnastics became gymnastics fans overnight. But what can we learn about leadership from Simone Biles and what happened at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics? Happy Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's Weekly Wisdom. Now, in this week, we're going to be looking at inclusive leadership. And we're also going to be looking at the shift in leadership because for example, when I joined the workforce, I started off as a line cook working in back of house restaurants, and there was definitely not something that I could call it a mental health day for. Uh, <laughs> I can remember I told my chef one day that uh, it would be awesome if when we're doing a good job, if he could say that we're doing a good job. And he looked at me, just offended to his court. He says, are you getting a paycheck? Then you're doing a good job. And I realized that my ideal of what the workplace should look like didn't match what the workplace was actually about. Nowadays, 20 plus years later, oh, I'm getting old. Anyways, nowadays, 20 plus years later, there is a lot more conversation about mental health, making sure that we're taking care of ourselves and not just mental health as far as um, illnesses go, but just understanding that we're stressed and we're tired and everything seems like a lot and it felt like in the workplace that we were catching up that we were doing a great job and then Simone and that's her workplace we have to be very very clear that her being in Tokyo that was her workplace this is something that she has trained her entire life to do and she called in a mental health day and that is something that we just can't fathom but I say kudos because when you're doing really, really crazy, hard, flippy things in the air, you need to make sure that your head's in the game. Otherwise you can hurt yourself in a big way. And the same goes true whenever we are balancing our family, balancing our work, trying to have a personal life, trying to make sure that we're there for our partners. If we're not taking care of ourselves and we have all of these plates spinning in the air, then bad things can happen when we are not listening to what our bodies are telling us. So what can Simone Biles teach us about leadership? As leaders, are you checking in with your employees? The ones that are a little bit stressed, are you telling them, hey, maybe you, maybe you need a mental health day, go ahead and take one. Are you encouraging the use of the language, mental health days, mental and emotional well-being? Are you having conversations about these things? Because it starts with leadership. When our employees trust us, then they're more likely to open up. There is still a lot of shame and stigma around mental health. As a society, for so long, we have rewarded pushing ourselves beyond our limits. I mean, have you ever had the brag fest about who got the least amount of sleep when a big project was due? Oh man, I only got five hours of sleep last night. Oh, you think that's bad? I only got three hours of sleep last night. Oh, well, let me tell you, I haven't slept since Tuesday. Any of y'all been a part of those conversations? As a leader, if you hear those conversations, then you need to tell all of them. Sleep is important. 
You cannot be your best self if you are not sleeping. The expectation in this office is that we take care of ourselves. Make it okay to take care of ourselves. And for Simone Biles, if you ever happen to see this, kudos. I know what you did wasn't easy. It took a lot of courage and a lot of bravery. But as the amazing, amazing athlete, female and role model that you are, you set a very strong example for the rest of us. Thank you. And to all of you who are watching the video, I hope that you have an amazing week. If you need a mental health day, go ahead and take it. Tell your boss to give me a call. We'll have a chat. Have a wonderful week. And don't forget, you got this. I'll see you next week.